Hello, hello, hello. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Sarah, your hashtag level up boss. Oh my gosh. I am having like crazy, crazy allergies. I don't know what is going on, but it is just that morning. Um, and I think it's my husband's fault. <laughs> So what's up you guys? I'm so excited. Uh, thank you all so much for being on here with me today. Um, I, I'm having some awesome new technology that I have been upgrading. So bear with me as I'm making some changes here because I want to make sure you guys are here to help you level up. So bear with me as I'm also making some changes. So um, if you can hear me okay, say okay in the comments. Um, if you're here to level up and this is your first time here, drop level up. Second time, try, uh, please type boss up in the comments. So this is really cool. I am officially now live on my personal Facebook page and also in my level up like a boss personal group as well, all at the same time. This is amazing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love this feature. So I know I titled this, um, how do you eat an elephant, which is kind of weird because I don't see the post. Um, description. Do you guys see the description though? This is going to be a new uh, thing going on. So uh, I'm learning as we grow. I'm learning as we grow. So if you guys see the description, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. But today's topic was how do you eat an elephant? And I know that sounds like what the heck, you don't eat an elephant, but it's just a saying. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about like the there's a lot of times when we start something new or we launch something new or we are on a business journey or or a health journey or um, a new job or anything like that and we're kind of trying to figure out like everything right we're trying to learn everything we're trying to um, take in all of the different changes that are going on with the new job or the new workout routine or the new fitness right and all of those things can be very overwhelming, right? New task, new job, new this, new that, new business, new uh, software. Like right now, <laughs> I'm trying to learn this new software, right? All of this stuff can be very new. I was on a, on a coaching call today, and um, I've worked with other peer people before in the past, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. And when they first start and they're learning about all the new things about launching their business or they're learning all the new things of their of their platform, one of the things that I notice is that they become overwhelmed because it is overwhelming. At the beginning, when you start something, a new podcast, a new tool, a new Facebook Live, a new how to use Instagram, how to use Facebook stories, right? All these things can be um, extremely overwhelming. It's all new information. It's all overwhelming information. And a lot of the times I see that because it's so new and overwhelming, people think this is not for me. I can't do this, right? It's, it's so new. It's so different that they have this negative mindset that this is not for them, right? But here's what I have learned is stop trying to eat the whole elephant at once, <laughs> okay? Take your time, you know, learning something new, just like riding a bike. And I was talking about this on my training call today. I was like, guys, everything that we do here for social media and the changes that come along with it, it's like riding a bike, okay? You, when you first get on the bike, it's really uncomfortable, it's different, it's new, it's challenging, but I don't want you to be scared of it. I want you to embrace it because you can't eat an elephant all at once. Okay, so if you are currently in the process of growing your business or launching a new business or you're in the process of starting a new job or you're in the process of starting a new adventure in your life um, and everything around you can seem very overwhelming and different and new, just know that there is going to be a constant curve of learning. I, I like this because when I first started um, my journey as an entrepreneur, you would think that the whole journey to learning would stop at some some point, right? You're like, oh, I already know everything. I know how to how to how to make sales. I know how to increase this. I know, guys. <laughs> There are levels to things, and I didn't know that. I was like, hold on, there's a level to get into this place? Like, there's a level to get into this rank? There's a level to get into this far in my business? And then there's a new level, and I'm just like, oh my God, that's like a whole other door of things that need to be opened, right? A whole new experience. So there, when you start something or anything, 
there is going to be a constant curve of learning. So there is no race, though. A lot of the times we think we have to get something right away. That's not true. I want you to take the time to get comfortable in something before you take on something else. And this is something new that I've actually started implementing. I call it base. I don't call it anything. I just take tasks for 30 days. Okay. I set my mind to something new that I want to learn. And then I give myself 30 days to learn it because within those 30 days, I'm going to fail. I'm going to be confused. It's going to, you know, stop me from doing other activities that I would normally do. But this little 30 days of learning something new, after I've learned it, I can then accelerate. So some of you learning something new, you might be here just at the learning period, right? You're learning it for 30 days. But after you learn it for 30 days, then you're going to blast off and your business is going to grow or your new job experience is going to get better or your new fitness journey is going to get better, and then you're going to again plateau. But what's going on is when people plateau, they give up. They think, this is it. I'm done, right? This is not working. It takes time to build momentum, and it takes time to learn something. So don't try to eat the whole elephant at once. Guys, it could be so overwhelming learning new things, experiencing new things, trying new business opportunities, learning new skill sets. Like All of those things can be so overwhelming that you tell yourself that it's not for you. Anything can be learned if one is willing to learn it. I heard this really amazing quote yesterday at a movie, a kid's movie. Um, so basically the, the, the movie was about this girl who's in the movie and she's narrating the movie. She's the narrator and she's a character in the movie. It was, blew my mind. I, I was like, this is crazy. And um, she said something because in the movie, she thinks that everything's a story. Everything's a story. So she's acting like she's in a story telling the story. The adventure is a story, right? And she said something. And what she said was, learn to live life making your own story or someone will make that story for you. And that just like, like, yes, exactly. That's, it hit me so hard. Make your own story. So some of you are in the process of writing your own story right now. And it, you can't write a book overnight. You just can't. You can't read a book overnight. Take the time to take bite-sized pieces of something. Guys, I'm reading this book right here called Courage is Calling. And this book, I'm trying to take my time with it because it's speaking within um, analogies. Okay, it's speaking analogies. At first, I was just reading it and I was like, okay, great, the story of Hercules. But I wasn't grasping it until I coached it to my sister. I was like, oh, I get it. <laughs> it took me a minute, okay? But it's because I was reading it wrong. Sometimes we have to see things in a different perspective in order for us to take it in. And some of you are taking something in your business at a one view perspective that it's not letting you take in the rest. Look at every different angles to what you could be learning right now, the benefits of it, the future of it. What? How could this benefit you? How could taking bite-sized pieces benefit you, right? This is not a race to success. It doesn't take one year to build a multi-million dollar business unless you're really damn lucky and you launched a product that no one has ever heard before. You have an amazing backup crew. Like It takes a lot of work, okay? So what I'm trying to get to you guys here is don't beat yourself up so much. Because making your own story is going to take time to write it. Eating the elephant is going to take time to eat it. It's so big. It's so massive. It's a lot to consume. It's a lot to take in. But I don't want you to think that you have to take in everything in life all at once. And this is why people freak out. They go into fear mode. Oh, this is never going to happen. This is, this, is, this is too much. I can never do this. They literally go into fear mode and they believe that they cannot accomplish something. When I, from personal experience, I've learned, just take your time with it. Take your time with it. Take in little pieces at a time. I have books, like journals. Like, let me show you. I have this journal. I have this journal. I have this journal. I have this journal, right? All of these journals with different information, packed full of knowledge, right? Notes. I have, oh, I also have this one. 
right? All of these books and all the information in here is very overwhelming. It's overwhelming. There's a lot. I've learned a lot. But what I really like about it is that I'll open this and I'll learn, I'll relearn something and I'll see it in a different perspective than I did before. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find something here. Right here. Are you the lone wolf? Right? What would you like this team? Where would you like your team to go? Taking that next level to push out your comfort zone. The first time I heard this information was I saw it in a different perspective, but now I see it in a new perspective. So when I got the information, it was different. But because now that I've grown into this information and, I, and I'm at a different place in my life, this information is different now to the way I see it now. So everything that you're going to learn in your business, take it in in bite-sized pieces. And don't forget to go back and relearn it and see it in a different perspective, and different view. Why? Because if you try so hard to eat the whole elephant, you're going to puke and it's impossible. It's just literally impossible. You just can't do it all at once, okay? So don't stress yourself out so much to the point where you want to throw in the towel because things got complicated in your heart. It's always gonna be complicated in your heart. Get comfortable with the new uncomfortable. So uncomfortable is your new comfortable. And I had to learn that. <laughs> I really did. I had to learn that. I'm like, oh, something new? All right. I can't shy away from it. I'm not going to run from it. I'm just going to get comfortable with the new uncomfortable, right? I'm just going to take my time getting comfortable with it, learning it, um, listening into it, acknowledging it. It's going to take time to process this new information. And the reason I'm coaching this to so many network marketers, because some of you guys are on coaching calls, some of you are listening to podcasts, with, and people are saying things that you've never even heard of, and you're telling yourself, whoa, this is so different, I don't know anything about this. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to know everything. So take your time to gain all this information so that you can then blast off and level up and take things to that next level. So this is what I wanted to bring to you guys was that awareness that you can't eat an elephant whole. You just can't. All right, guys, so this is your girl, Sarah, your hashtag level up boss. Thank you all so much for being on this call with me today. This is a short one because I got a lot of work to do. Um, and this really wasn't a very a strenuous topic either. So um, I <laughs> love you guys. I hope you are listening into the Warrior Challenge. Uh, we have launched this. Registration is open right now. So if you haven't registered, you need to register. Uh, just drop register in the link. Someone's going to send you the link to whoever invited you here. Or if you're, you know, if you know me, I'll send you the link um, to register to the Warrior Challenge. Registration to the Warrior Challenge is free. So it's a 10-day system program. I'm going to play this video for you so you can learn more about what the Warrior Challenge is. And uh, we hope you will take the challenge. <laughs>